Let's get a look at our weather. Rob Ellis is here with our first alert forecast. Hey, Rob. Yeah, everybody's talking about the big warm up, and that is going to be part of the main story of our forecast. But there's also some hints of a storm coming. Is the snowstorm moving through? I'm going to try to put all that to rest and talk about what we know and then, of course, what we don't know, as I often try to do. 14 is where we sit right now. The temperatures are cold, but we've had some clouds roll in. Those clouds may act as a little bit of a blanket and keep our temperatures from dropping as cold as where they were last night. So 11, I think that's about the lowest we'll go, at least for the city. Some of you are going to get into the single digits. Some of you are already there, but I've also got a few flurries in the forecast. Low temperatures tonight again into those teens, uh, maybe even into the single digits. But when we warm up tomorrow, we'll go into the 20s. But the southwest wind is going to kick in, and this southwest wind is really key to our part of the forecast. I want to reset my computer and show you a couple of things about that warm up that's moving our way because it is going to move up close to 50 degrees by the time we get into next week. But along with that comes a chance for rain, and that chance for rain could change over to a little bit of snow. It's all because this larger air mass is moving and it's getting out of here. Once we get that out of here, the warm air can finally slowly start to surge in. There is, by the way, a little bit of a quick clipper system that should move through the central part of the state. That's why we've got the flurries in the forecast for tonight. Keeps our temperatures pretty flat line. We try to warm up a little bit warmer than where we were today for tomorrow, close to 30. We don't cool down very much overnight tomorrow night, and then we'll get up into the upper upper 30s to near 40s. That same trend is going to continue after a cold night tonight. You'll see each and every day get a little bit warmer so that by Wednesday you're up to 50, but it's very short lived because the next day we're down to 34, then 27 and heading into the weekend. Some really cold air is going to rush in. The big question is when that warmer air arrives, Will we see the rain move in and how quickly can the uh, colder air catch up to that rain? At this point, it looks like through about midday, we may actually get a nice day out of this on Wednesday. Look, if it's going to be near 50, you at least want to be able to get out and enjoy it a little bit, right? Well, if the rain holds off, you may be able to do that. But at some point, that cold air is going to catch up to it. Now, the latest trends are bringing that cold air in a little bit faster. What does that mean? It means that it would change the liquid over to snow, means more snow. But there's still a lot of variability, and this is still four to five days out. I know there are projections out on the Internet that show 15 inches of snow, 17 inches of snow. I just want to caution you that it's still very early. I could show you model projections that show two inches of snow. I try not to do that to add too much confusion to it. I just want you to know that we have to watch it and it will likely bring some snow. How much is still a little bit beyond the science of meteorology for exactly nailing down what we can expect. But this is what we do know. It's going to be warm here for Wednesday before that colder air moves in, and it will move in pretty quickly and likely drop our temperatures in a big way. Again, some of the model output is suggesting much colder than I have in my forecast. It may need tweaking. Again, this is still four days out before we get there. After it, we do know it's going to be cold. We'll have plenty of sunshine heading into the next weekend. It will be cold for Saturday, but it appears that will warm right back up on Sunday. Chris. Okay, Rob, thanks very much.